hello everyone i'm back again with my new video i welcome you all to my new video and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch my previous videos so in this video i'm going to show you a new feature uh, which is actually not yet new but it's a setting uh, which gives a control to teachers or global administrators to whom they want to allow in the meeting and for teachers the scenario is that whenever there is a classroom uh, which they want to hold as a, a in microsoft teams in a meeting so they will they can control which students can be allowed okay and which students uh, should not be, uh, come before them in the meeting should not join uh, before the teacher so because uh, sometimes what we, uh, what we have seen is uh, there is some objectionable uh, content being shared or questionable conversation been going on between students before the teacher has joined the meeting so the teacher has the full control now and uh, he or she can be able to control who can enter uh, or join the meeting before uh, the teacher can okay so i'm going to show you how it can be done using microsoft teams so please follow me along okay so i'm here right now in my microsoft team desktop application if you're using um, a web client application so that is also fine so i have uh, already set up a meeting to uh, here at 11 am physics lab as a teacher so you can see the meeting has been set and one student i have called upon student a okay i will also show you his perfect perspective as well okay so in this meeting uh, in desktop you can see this option meeting options here just click here and this will go right up to the meeting settings here is it so you can see my meeting name the date time and the organizer which is myself so these are the four options which we are going to work on but the first one is the one we are considering in this video so who can bypass this the lobby we have four options here everyone which means that everyone can bypass this lobby which is uh, not uh, for our uh, uh, scenario like uh, who, who, whoever it is like it is a student or is a teacher or someone from outside the organization they can bypass the lobby which is not good people in my organization and trusted ones it means that those which are in my organization only or the external ones or the one which i have to trust it upon okay the third option is people in my organization which means the only those students or teachers or members which are in my domain or in, in my school or in my organization okay but in this video i am going to select this option only me because as a teacher i myself uh, should be able to bypass myself in the meeting not anyone else okay so if anyone else joins the meeting they have to wait in the lobby okay and i will be the one uh, accepting them accepting their request and allowing them in the meeting okay so it's just like if you can see uh, if you can visualize or imagine it like there is a class going on and teacher is already present and a student comes in in the or knock the door and says may i come in so the teacher accepts his request and uh, he allows him in so this is how it goes so teacher would be able to one would be able uh, would be able to allow anyone in the meeting okay so teacher has the full control so let me select this option only me uh, there is also some more option the last one it is also one more good feature who can present if you want everyone to present you can click everyone uh, but if you want only yourself like only me as a teacher can do all the demonstration can do all the file sharing in the meeting so you can select only me okay so i hope you got that point and let's click save done okay let's cross this down and let's go back in the meeting and let's click join so i have joined the meeting uh, as a teacher now okay so you can see waiting for others to join because no one has joined yet okay now let's go to the student perspective i've already signed in as a student a you can see it student a so let's click to calendar you can see the invitation is here let's click here accepted invitation so you can click join or you can also join from here
let me turn off everything click join now so you can see the header here we've let people in the meeting you know you are waiting so from the student the header goes like this we've let people in the meeting know you are waiting so this student is waiting to be allowed okay so let's switch back once again you can see this option student a is waiting in the lobby you can also go here in show participants you can see waiting in the lobby section student a is waiting as a teacher i'm already inside the meeting and if there's any student in the lobby i just have to for two options yes or no admit it or no do not admit it so let's click yes so in now the teacher is admitting the student a to come in the meeting so now you can see as an attendee the student a is inside the meeting okay so this is how it works this option is really a good feature and uh, teachers would be able to uh, control the students uh, who can enter in the classroom before themselves okay uh, and if you go here in the upper section manage permission you can find the same options uh, once again if you want to change it as a teacher you can change it once again you can see it's the same window open up here okay well uh, but one more thing i would like to point it here that this only me feature uh, which uh, allows a teacher to uh, have a full control is not yet available in admin center i am hoping that microsoft would soon be able to uh, get this feature in, as general availability in admin, admin center so as a policy you can set it out for your school so uh, once that feature is on uh, from admin center i will show you in the video okay thank you so much for watching my video and uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel and also watch my previous videos and if you have any questions do drop your comments Thank you.